Hey guys, this is Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 8 of my event as career mode. Now today, we're hopefully going to be moving further up the league table, because um, at the moment, we're currently in third place, with the game in hand over second place. Um, but yeah, we aren't doing too bad, I suppose, if you have a look at uh, how many games we've won, drawn, and lost. Uh, but yeah, basically that's what we'll be doing this episode, playing some more matches, and hopefully getting near to the January transfer window, where we have a grand total of 13.3 million to spend so far. Uh, but yeah, before we get into this episode, if we could go hit 25 likes on this video, we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to go subscribe as well, and check out the links below to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at GameFaceHD. So yeah, let's get on with this game now, it's against Fiorentina, I'm going to change on the team a little bit, because I'm going to play the match, I think, because uh, it's a good team, Fiorentina, so I'm going to play it. And yeah, we're back in the second once I've decided on the team. And this team I've gone with, I've had to make quite a few changes because we've got a lot of players that are a little bit tired at the moment, and a couple of players that are out injured. I've got Buffon in goal, Ayora at right back, Ceseres at centre back alongside Chiellini with Alexandro at left back. In front of those we've got Fred and Kadira, so I've changed both my centre mids from Pogba and Macizio, um, who usually play there. Asamo on the left, Hernanez at centre attacking mid, Quadrado on the right, and Kingsley Cohen starting up front. This is the bench Mandzukic makes it on there just about, uh, returning from injury. And yeah, that means I've left out Morata, Marquezio, and a few other big names as well. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully get ourselves a win against Fiorentina. And yeah, let's see how we do. Coleman trying to find Hernanez, who's made a run forward. Cuts back inside onto his right foot and takes a strike. And it's finished off nicely there. Not too sure who finished it off, though. Uh, Quadrado it was, <laughs> look at his hair all over the place, nice little celebration, and it's 1-0 already, brilliant start for us there, Hernandez making a good run, but it was finished off just about by Quadrado, into the roof of the goal, thought he was going to sky that one, and that's his fourth goal of the season, 1-0, Hernandez looking out wide for Asamoah, that's a brilliant pass in the end actually, can he get it back in, oof, not quite, the keeper beats him to it, decent cross though Asamoah, I do really like him, I've started playing him a lot more now because of how good he is in game. And he just seems to really have quite a lot of fight about him. He also likes to track back as well, which is exactly what I like from midfield players. Oh no, injury for Quadrado. I think he's hurt his elbow or something like that. So he's going to have to come off, and that means that I'm going to bring on Lichtensteiner early on. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, to be honest, because I quite like Quadrado's pace out wide there. Uh, but sadly he's injured, it shouldn't be too long. I'm pretty sure it's only his shoulder and that's after going up and uh, trying to head the ball unsuccessfully. And that's it for the first half. We are still winning the game 1-0. Uh, pretty good first half. Probably should have done a little bit better though. We are struggling a bit in the middle because of the lack of height. So I'm going to have to make a couple of changes. We're going to put Komen out onto the left-hand side. Take off Asamoah and bring on Mandzukic, I think. We'll also bring on uh, Textera or Dybala or Pogba, actually, uh, in the centre attack and mid-roll at some point. But I'm not really too sure whether to do it now or wait a little bit. I'm not really too sure which one to bring on. I think it's going to be Pogba that I'm going to put on and play him at centre attack and mid. I want to see how he performs there. Hopefully he does well. And yeah, we'll find out in the second half. Pogba to take the corner as well. Kadir is up there. And oh, cleared off the line. Back to Fred. And he hit it first time. Probably shouldn't have done. Manzuki's looking for Pogba again. Can he get the Paul Pogba? Oh, again, why? Just not good enough on that left foot. Still 1-0. And there's not been loads of chances, but we have been comfortably beating Fiorentina at the moment. And there's it. We have won the game 1-0. Very comfortable win in the end, to be honest. There wasn't much of a threat from Fiorentina throughout. It should have been more than 1-0, though. Uh, but that is the way it's finished. It's not too bad considering it was my uh, weekend team, even though I did bring on Pogba and, and players like that. Uh, but yeah, it was a bit of a change team, so I'm pretty happy with that result. And the main thing is three points to hopefully go second, I think, now. No, not quite, because we've still got a game in hand. Uh, but if we do get the next three points, then we're only one point behind Milan, who are first. And player Indra Quadrado has suffered a bruised shoulder will be out for nine days, so yeah, a bruised shoulder wasn't really something you had to desperately come off the pitch for, I don't think. Uh, but anyway, it's out for nine days. Should be fine, I think, for the next game. We will go ahead and go with these five players for the player drills. Hopefully get them up in overall, maybe, or just some of their attributes. And in fact, we haven't gone up in anything, not even attributes in that round of uh, play development drills. So yeah, let's move on now to the next game, and we probably will sim this one thinking about it, because it's quite a weak team, I think. But first, we have got a bit of a risk here uh, of losing five players. Uh, Patrice Everest, Ceres, uh, and a few others as well. So, um, this young... Oh no, it's not a young stretch. I'm thinking of a different left-back. I think I'm going to let him go, 
Uh, Rubini, I'm not really too bothered about him. Barzagli, I think, is on the way out as well. His overall's dropping. Uh, he's just getting older and older, obviously. Uh, but I want to keep in Ceceros, I think. I quite like the fact he's really fast. Uh, Patrice Dev, ever I'm not particularly fussed about, to be honest, at the moment. Uh, I will offer Ceceros a new contract. He wants a hundred grand, though, which is a lot of money. I will go ahead with that and go as an important first team player. Hopefully he agrees to that and signs the new one year extension. And now back to our usual team for this match that I'm going to be simming. It is an away game, so it's going to be a tough match. That's why I've put out a very strong team. Go with Buffon, uh, Alexandro, Chiellini, um, Bonucci, I think is how you pronounce his name. I always struggle with that one. Ayora at right back with Marquisio and Popper in front of them. Asamoah, Textera, Lucas and Morata make up the rest of the team. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully ourselves another three points and get closer to the second place position. So I think this team is called Carpi, but I've never heard of them before. Um, so obviously I won't know many of the players, if any of them. They have scored after 10 minutes, which usually happens when we sim an away match, frustratingly. Uh, Lucas has also got an injury. Pog was equalised though 26 minutes in. Into the second half now, still one all. Hopefully we can get a second goal. I mean, look at our team compared to theirs. Pereira's come on for Lucas. Fred's come on. They're going to get themselves a second goal with 15 minutes left. And Popper equalises yet again. Five minutes to go, still two all. And for some reason, we've got a point at this team that really shouldn't be getting a point against them, really, should we? I mean, we've got such a better team than they have. I wonder where they are in the league table. Uh, yeah, bottom. They've not won a game this season. They were about to beat us as well, if it wasn't for Pogba. That just tells you how frustrating swimming matches is away. Why is it that bad for an away team? It really shouldn't be that bad. Okay, Brazil have just offered me to, to become their manager. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got to accept that, really, haven't I? I can't reject Brazil. I'm going to have to accept it. Usually I'd ask your guys' advice, but I think I'm just going to have to accept it. I can't really reject Brazil, can I? Um, so I'm going to accept the offer, and I will be the new Brazil manager as well as doing Juventus. Uh, we got player injured. I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. Brazil offer. Anyway, player injured. Lucas has got a sprained ankle out for nine days. Typical. And we've got a suspension there as well. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, but, yeah, we do now have, I think, is this an international break, maybe? I'm not too sure. We do have a few days off anyway. Uh, I will quickly go ahead and sim these player drills, see what we can come out with, if anything. And that's Morata going up to 83 overall. Fantastic. Fred also going up in one of his attributes, but 83 now for Morata is really good, so glad to hear about that, and yeah, let's move on now to the next game. Before that, though, we have got news that Ceceres has accepted the new contract for 100 grand a week and a one-year extension, and I'm just going to quickly have a look when we're actually playing with Brazil. Uh, it's not going to be for a while by the looks of it. Yeah, I think March is the next time we play with Brazil, because um, I think there's like the South America cup thing that one uh, that you have to play with brazil so hopefully we can win that but anyway we are still a game in hand uh, and if we win this one we, we only go two points behind the second place but the main thing is we'll be three points behind milan which really isn't particularly decent is it uh, this stage in the season 27th of december we've got lazio again another away match I'll quickly have a look at the calendar again, actually, and I'll decide whether I'm going to be simming this match yet. Okay, this team I've gone with, I will be simming the match against Lazio. Uh, however, I will be changing it slightly. I'll be simming from the calendar rather than simming through uh, the usual way. Uh, just because I'm hoping that comes out with a bit more of a fairer result rather than just giving the opposition points every single time I try and sim one. That's the team I've gone with, basically. I think it might change, though, when you sim it from the calendar. I don't know if it gives it to your assistant to decide on the team. Not really too sure. If it doesn't, then that's the team I've gone with. And uh, let's have a look at the results. We won 1-0. Finally, a bit more of a realistic result. Uh, so we'll take that. And we're now two points behind second and three points behind Milan in first. Suspension over for my centre-back, and we've got two players suspended. That's the only thing when you do sitting from the calendar. It does seem to kind of mess up all these suspensions and injuries. Uh, but yeah, we've got Sandro who's out for the next one, and so is Chiellini. Great news. Back on to some player development. Again, it's got around to that time of the week again, and hopefully get some more upgrades. Yes, Pogba's finishing and shot power went up. Fred's interceptions also went up as well, which is good for us. Uh, I'm really trying to get Pogba up to 90. That's what I'm aiming for by the end of the season. Going to be a bit difficult, but we're going to give it a go anyway. And into the January transfer window now. Brilliant stuff. We can now make some new signings if we want to, and potentially get rid of some players as well. First of all, though, I'm going to request some funds. We're going to have a 20 million we'll ask for, and we'll just say win everything, basically. 
hopefully they go ahead and let me have 20 million. It might be a bit of a audacious attempt for uh, that amount of money, but we'll see what they say anyway. Hopefully they come back with that sort of amount. And as I said, just under, well, around about 11 million, I suppose. Uh, just under 11.5 million, which isn't too bad, I'll take that, we've got about 25, is it now? Yep, just under 25 million to spend, and I'm also going to be selling some players as well, so we're back in a second, so I've decided on those players that I'm selling. Okay, so these are the players I've got transfer listed, uh, there's a few that are transfer listed from the summer, but I've brought in, um, on the transfer list, Hernanez and Rubino as well, so... I've basically done that because Rubino's on like 25 grand a week, his contract's running out, he's not a particularly good goalkeeper, so there's no point having him. Uh, also, got rid of Hernanez, I know he's recently joined in the summer, uh, not from me though, obviously, uh, from the transfers that were done previously, and yeah, basically I want to try and get rid of him. He's not my sort of centre attacking mid, I know he got me an assist in the previous game uh, that I played, but I still think he's not an amazing player that I want to try and keep. He's 30 as well. There's other players I want to play in this position, basically, like Pereira. So we're going to get rid of him. Also, I was a little bit tempted to get rid of Mandzukic, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. And let me know, obviously, about any other players you think I should get rid of or try and get in. Uh, in terms of players I'm going to get in, I'm not really too sure. I quite like Hulk. Obviously, he's recently joined from Zenit in the previous transfer window. Uh, and he's 29 as well. Um, I'm not really too sure I need any other players. I don't know whether I should just wait and see what sort of offers they get in. Potentially accept some players... Um, or maybe getting actually maybe a left mid, like a pacey left mid. Might have a look at that, but first of all, we'll kind of just see if we've got any more offers in. Okay, because I've not got any more offers in from any players or anything, we are going to put in a bid for Carlos Vela, or Vela, however you want to pronounce his name. Uh, 10 million and Hernanez. Hernanez is worth 11 himself, so that's 21 in combined fees. I really just want to get in him. I think he's a really good player. Could be good on the left-hand side for us. He's fast and he's an attacker. That's what I like about him as well. So hopefully they accept that, but we'll just have to wait and see what they say. On to some player drills. Now let's see how we get some of the exact same five players yet again. I'll change it one of these episodes, don't worry. Uh, and we've got a few players going up in their attributes. Nothing though in terms of overall this week. Now this is my sort of signing. I'm going to try and get in Jan Vertonghen uh, on a contract expiry thing. I'm going to hopefully try and sign him on that uh, in for next season because I'm probably going to get rid of Ceceres at that point. Maybe some other centre-backs as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully try and get him in on a pre-contract agreement. And uh, yeah, we'll see whether he does accept it. It's going to be 100 grand a week. I need to quickly change around the wage budget though. And yeah, hopefully he'll uh, join us at the end of the season. And uh, Buffon has said he wants to discuss wages. It's never good when a 37-year-old asks to discuss wages. He usually wants a huge increase in wage. Hopefully he doesn't though. He is 37 years old now, isn't he? And uh, he's wanting to sign a new contract on 90 grand a week, he's probably going to ask for about 150, that's what I thought he was on to be honest, let's see what he asks for, 140, I wasn't too far off there, one year deal, I'm going to have to do it aren't I, I think, hopefully I've got enough to do it, crucial first team player, uh, but yeah he is 87 overall, so I think I can let him off a little bit for asking for that amount, and Real Salsic have come back and said the transfer offer is in unacceptable at the moment, uh, because even though they are interested in the player, they want 17 million as well, in order to try and sign him, so I'm going to up it to 13 million, and hopefully they agree to that deal. And Yang Vertonghen has said he wants 140 grand. I offered him 110 uh, in the hope that he'd accept that, but he does want 140, and I think that is all he's going to really want to accept. I'm going to go three-year deal though, because if he wants 140, he's got to commit to the three years, and I'll go with an important first-team player again. And now we've got a game against Verona, I think that's how you pronounce it. We are just going to sim the match. We'll go auto-replace the unavailable players for this game, and I hope that's a good enough team anyway. I think it is, to be honest. Yeah, other than Ayora playing centre-back, but we'll let it go for now. Hopefully it's a good enough team, though, to beat uh, Verona anyway, who aren't the greatest side, I don't think. Pogba scored after seven minutes. We will skip it, I think, at like the 30th minute mark, just see how it gets on for now. And skip, we won the game 4-0, 2 from Pogba, 2 from Textera. And yeah, pretty good game with the looks of it. And that is it for this episode, guys. I'm now going to end it there, um, just so that you've got plenty of time in the transfer window to obviously give me comments and suggestions of players I should sign and sell. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'll obviously read and reply as usual. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this one, please hit the thumbs up button and also go subscribe as well. If we could go hit 25 likes, that'd be absolutely brilliant. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.